What's up, y'all? You rocking with Moochie, and this is Moochilla's Review. So hit the hammer, because you came through. I'm talking about Reasonable Doubt. This is the second season. We are in episode five. Episode five is called Guilty Until Proven Innocent. This is Chanel's day in court. We're going to be talking about this episode. I am Moochie, and this is Moochilla's Reviews. So let's get into it, y'all. Me up in that algorithm and holla at your girl. All right, y'all. So the episode starts out where Jax can't sleep because she got this case on her mind and she knows that her friend is not telling her the whole truth. As soon as she gets out of bed to think about this case and start working on it. Lewis gets up too because he can't sleep. And y'all know why he can't sleep. He tossing and turning because he thinking, if I got Tony pregnant, did I get Tony pregnant? Is Tony carrying my baby? He had the urge to go to this bathroom, y'all. To go to this bathroom and text Chanel that we need to talk. Why? We need to talk. He want to get ahead of this before Jax get a hold of it. That's all he's doing right now. And I dig it. I could get it. But you know what I'm saying? This might look. I don't know why he doing so much. He should have waited to make this phone call to the morning and went out there to see what she was looking at. Or, or stay in bed and act like nothing's going on. But he text somebody at that time of the morning. What if, what if Tony would have called back, y'all? I'm just saying. So Jax got Gerard on his on her mind about this whole thing, Evan Gerard, which is JT's business manager. So she goes there first thing, and she goes to talk to Chanel about this. And this, she's letting her know, look, you're not telling me everything which is it, what is in this thing? You're not telling me everything. You're leaving some things out there. That that two hour time period between you not calling the police. What was you doing all this time? Are you was you making up this scenario so that way you're covering for somebody and you're gonna take the blame because you're looking at a chance of doing life in here, girl. So she's letting her know all of this, and you know what? Chanel got to had a wise answer. She said, you're not even used to defending men. You know, so you, I've seen how you acted before. So she's basically deflected. And I'm glad, I'm glad that Jax called Chanel out on her nonsense and let her know, look, I'm trying to help you. I'm still your friend, but I'm your lawyer right now. So don't take any of this personal. And that's what she tried to make it seem like, but she was just trying to cause a diversion. Who is Chanel protecting? That's my question. Who is Chanel covering for? This is tonight's poll question. Please be sure to go to my community tabs. You will see this in the community tabs. I need y'all to go to the community tabs, cast y'all vote. When we do the recap, which is at eight o'clock, we will be getting into that. Y'all probably going to see the recap with the ladies before y'all actually even see this video. But if not, still go over to that community tabs and cast y'all vote. Okay, moving on. Now, meanwhile, Lewis going to go talk to his brother. His brother just lets him know how stupid he really is. He got Tony name saved in the phone under her name. We know that he was, JT was messing around with Tony first, but keep in mind, JT had that get low spot where they was having, anything was going there. It seemed like it was kind of like an orgy situation where either they were swapping girls or whatever the case may be. It was all adults. They was all having fun. Okay. But Lewis' brother He's letting him know, look, you got to get ahead of this, this situation. Don't call this woman anymore. Change the number in your phone and go home to your wife. Lewis listened to about half of that. 
Lewis listened to about half of that. So I don't know if he's going to, to me, I think he's going to get caught. And you know why I think he's going to get caught? Because Jax is working this case and they looking at them phone records. And I think she's going to see Lewis' phone number under that thing with Tony thing, with Tony's phone records. And I think that's how she's going to figure that out. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think it's possible? Do you think it's possible that Lewis is going to get caught out there? Is Lewis, if Lewis gets caught out there with this, let me know what y'all think in the comments. And we're going to move on to the next thing. Moving on. All right, so look, we had our Corby Cash moment brought to you by Muchilla's Review, okay? Now, Corby Cash is letting them know, it, is getting wind of this because Jax brings this other angle to, the, to his attention. And it is true. Is it possible that Chanel is covering some for somebody? She is given another angle to work this case, which is what the name of the show is, Reasonable Doubt. She's given Reasonable Doubt because it could be a possibility that someone else actually did the deed. And Chanel is covering for them. And she's trying to figure it out. And she's guessing right now that it is Adrian that she, she was covering up, that Chanel is covering up for. They She also brings to... Corey Cash attention about the whole thing with JT's business partner, Evan Gerard, and that he's been, Adrian's been giving money to Evan Gerard. So they're trying to work this angle, but you know, y'all know that Corey Cash has his own thing in mind. He has his own angle in mind because he's trying to to basically take out two birds with one stone. He's trying to help his boo that's still locked up, that has been convicted, and this will help with her appeal, as well as him trying to help Chanel's case. So he wants to spin this, continue to spin this domestic violence angle, and that Chanel is the victim. All right? So they're having a difference between this, but as you know, Jack's assistant, she believes her. Always bet on Jack. She says, look, I like Corby Cash, but I like this angle that you're working, and it is a possibility. So they are going to explore this matter now at this point. And to me, Dan the man already knows something is shady with Adrian and, and Gerard and Ever Gerard. So he already she already knows that it's something shady going on between them. All right? Meanwhile, Evan Gerard wants more money from Adrian. And Adrian was like, yo, it is too hot for me to be going back and forth to that bank to be taking out this money because you know they looking at everything. So that means him and Chanel is talking. Let me find out Chanel got a burner phone in that prison and she talking to Adrian on the low, letting him know everything that Jax is telling him because she already knows about the accounts. She's acting like she knows nothing about the money, but to me, it's making me think she knows nothing about the money because the way they was getting all that bail money together. And not only that, Adrian had to help and act like he's helping her get bail money together, whereas they already had money because he knew about the whole thing that they was doing with JT's account. So to me, he's conniving, he's embezzling funds, and they look like they're going to throw Chanel under the bus with this. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. He won his money and he won it now. He not playing with him. So he he's trying to tell him to lay low and wait till this case, wait till this case is over with, wait till she wins her case and then I can get you the money. But 
it seems like Evan Gerard is taking no for an answer. Meanwhile, So look, Corby Cash lets her know, look, I am the first chair. You overstepping your bounds, Jax. You need to play your position. You know I'm the uh, first chair of this case, so you're not supposed to be doing this, that, and the other. And he keeps reminding her. And I, this was after this whole conversation where she was trying to let him know that it's a possibility of somebody else who actually did the deed. So... I know they go back and forth with it, but this is going to be a problem because Jack is, Jax is going to be very persistent with this. And as she should be, she's trying to protect her friend. I get it. Moving on. So now we see Lewis and Jax watching the actual TV interview and she did her thing with this. I know we talked about it last the last episode, but she had did her thing with doing this interview and she had the bombshell. She dropped it and they're talking about Tony Holly and you could see the tension and the look on Lewis face. You know what it looked like to me, y'all? What it looked like to me? It looked like that's guilt straight up G-U-R-L-T that Lewis is displaying on his face because he know he guilty. The question is, whose baby is it? Now, right after that whole TV fiasco, Lewis phones rings, and it's the whole person that it's the person's name that he took that uh that his brother told him to change it to. So He's thinking, he's telling Jax it's a whole work situation. Meanwhile, it is Tony on the other line. And it's Tony on the other line. She like, what, you can't talk? What, you can't talk? No, I can't talk, girl. Now, I didn't even see these pictures. So let me ask y'all this question. Now that that um we know that Dan the man was on top of things with this whole thing. And they they're finding out everything and he's been doing his research. They're putting stuff together and they're going to see that it looks like Adrian and Gerard, but Gerard, Evan Gerard was uh embezzling funds. Meanwhile, we go to this whole meeting, and she's so she feels so good about their relationship now. Lewis is being honest, and Lewis and her is handling this situation. But she did have a problem with her not to, with him telling Spencer about that performing art school before they had a conversation, and I understood why. But I like that this counseling is going along good. My question to y'all is, let me ask y'all this, and I want y'all to be honest with me. Do y'all think it's a possibility that Lewis is going to do this whole confession thing in their therapy session so Jax can handle it a little bit better? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, and will this lead to them uncoupling? Because remember, they showed that in the trailer in the beginning of this episode. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Moving on. So now he goes to meet with this girl. He goes to meet with her. He goes to meet with Tony in the middle of the night after this whole thing with the session. She lets him know. She says, look, hey, Lewis, you don't even have to be worried about this. This is not your baby. You know, I know you back with your wife and I'm not trying to make no waves and I don't even want Jax to even know about me. I'm, I'm just worried about somebody following me here. Now, did y'all hear that part? Now, you know, 
Dan the man be on the case. Is it a chance? Is it a chance, y'all? Let me ask y'all this. Is it a chance? Is it a possibility that Dan the man, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that Dan the man is following Tony and he gonna see Tony meet up with Lewis and he gonna come back and tell Jax in the next episode. Let me know what y'all think in the comment. Put that hammer up and let me know and say, yeah, I think she, she, she's gonna know about this. She's gonna know about that meeting between Tony and, and Lewis. And is she gonna confront him at the therapy session? Is it gonna be an all out blowout with the therapy session? Or is it gonna be some kind of blowout at the house where she be like, look, I know what you've been doing. I know what's going on. But I mean, how can you get mad, Jax? You and him were not together when this happened. He was doing his thing. You done had the little, you know, he was messing with your little security guard that was guarding the house and he seen all of that. So, I mean, come on, how you gonna get mad? This is something that happened when y'all was broken up, even though y'all are married. You was messing around and he was messing around. What do y'all think about it? Let me know what y'all think. Cause I'm curious to know how this thing is going to work out with them two. Okay. Now they go to court and the first day, the open argument arguments, the open statements, they're picking their jurors and they had a whole focal group on this where they discussed how they was going to do this. They had a whole focal group on how they discussed how they was going to do this. I don't know what's going on with my pictures, but like I said, they had a whole focal group with how they was going to do this. And it was things that I seen with this. Some of the stuff is kind of like wild to me. Okay. They decided to pick their people who's going to, um, they're, they're discussing this whole thing. And not only that, they had the first two people come up and talk, which was the detective that had, that, that came to the scene. And they also had the, uh, the, the coroner that was there and they discussed everything. And they also discussed the whole two hour gap within the time where it looks like they could have staged this crime to look as such. So this is not looking good on Chanel's part so far. Meanwhile, at the time all of this happened, happened, I don't know why my pictures are out of sync right now, but it is what it is. Then we find out her mother is dating a new fella and he Jax finds this out through her daughter. So you know they're going to do a background check on dude. Let me ask y'all this. And I, this is my thoughts with this and my little theory. I think this is going to piggyback into the next case with her mother. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I think the, the person who she's messing with is going to be some kind of fraud. I don't know. I, I, I'm probably running with it, though. Y'all know how I'll be doing. Moving on. So, she finds out all of that with, with Lewis. I'm sorry. She finds out all of that with, with um Naima. Naima tells her everything about what Grandma is doing, who Grandma is seeing. And meanwhile, in this time, Lewis lets Spencer know about the performing arts school. So they're going to look into it and he's going to um try, he's going to basically try out for the school or apply for the school and see if he gets accepted. Now, you know, they trying to back, remember her assistant talked about having this whole, that their office was turning into a real boys club, a men's club. 
And it looks like they're going to try to um, backdoor Jax and do a swap for the black person. They're going to swap out the black man for the black woman. Why can't you keep both? But this is what happens. Now you got to see if Corby Cash is going to play games or if he's going to stand 10 toes and support Jax. And this is why I think Jax and him should have their own law practice, especially if Corby Cash wins this case. They need to just branch away from these people and get their own practice together, which I'm hoping they do let me know what y'all think in the comments about that though moving on now after the court date comes i mean after the day in court Jax winds down with her girlfriends and it kind of goes left the reason why i say it goes left it goes left because of the simple fact Stacy did not like the feedback she was getting where they thought somebody else might be the doer of JT. And they're thinking it's Adrian. She says, y'all believe everything they say on the shade room. She got so mad and got up and left. Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all think Sally took out JT and walked in on everything and took out JT helping Chanel? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's looking kind of, you know, wishy-washy. It could be between, remember I had the whole little poll up. It could be between Adrian and Sally. Who is Chanel covering for? Make sure y'all go to the community tabs and cast y'all vote, y'all. And we will be talking about it at 8 o'clock. I need y'all to scroll up to the top and cast y'all vote. Cast y'all vote everywhere, y'all, okay? And if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you. Moving on. <laughs> she got so hot and bothered. Then the next day in court, Chanel is there and her mother-in-law is there and she puts on a performance and she letting him know, look, she's letting the whole court know she took out my baby. Had the nerve to bring the, her, her children to court so it could show, you know, you showing her kids or you look like you're trying to tell her own children against her. But if she's an abused woman, they know what she was going through. You can't tell me that stuff like that wasn't going on in the house if it was. I'm just saying. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think this is a whole, a whole ploy? Because remember, she had those pictures of her being abused in the uh, safety deposit box. Was this a calculated deletion? Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Moving on. Now you know this mother father showed up at the at the first of all, how is he on her visiting list? Is he showing up here? You know what? Stuff like this when you know she gotta allow him on a visiting list. Why was he coming to this? So this don't look good. This got questions where it's coming up, but you know, I'm a roll with it. He shows up there. And now he's talking about he need his money. He need it now. And not only that, he's Jax is questioning him. So now, you know, dude's feet is about to be held to the fire. They already know he's questionable. They already know he got shady business. And now, remember that, remember in the beginning of this episode, Chanel already let Jax know that he's a shady businessman. Moving on. And you know, right after he went there, you know, Adrian came to that house and was like, yo, what's up? Why you going to see this girl? I already told you to hold up. I'm going to get you your money. You got to wait till this trial blow up. And he's not listening. He he said, look, if it go, gets to that, it's going to get to that. If I got to go to my hammer and you got to go to your hammer, we could we could, we could, could duke it out. He letting him know he not playing no more. He is fighting to prove his love. I'm just saying. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I With this, it looks like they was, it, I'm going to say it like this, and let me know if y'all see it the way I see it. I feel like Chanel was the mark. 
they knew that JT wasn't all there in the head and they was robbing this dude. They was embezzling funds. I believe that Adrian did get over his head in betting and that's how the, them, them starting to take funds from JT's account started. Remember, Adrian's not playing football no more, so he don't got no money. So he needs money. So, you know, what would you do? You're going to mess with this girl and she's at a vulnerable moment. Okay? Moving on. They have this conversation and they are all on one accord at this point. They want to make sure they look, you don't, you don't backdoor me for these, for these, you know, for the good old boys. You got to be on my team. Cause you know, we together, you, got, you know, we supposed to be, you know, for the greater good. You ain't going to backdoor me with these partners. I'm, I've, I've been dealing with them for the longest. And if you got a problem, come to me. I'm glad they had this conversation. and. I really want them, I hope they, this is what I'm hoping happens. I hope Corby Cash beats this case. You know, he wins this case and then they form their own partnership together. Let me know what y'all think in the comments about that. Moving on. So now we get to the whole scene where we find out that Spencer is accepted to this gifted school. He's going to be playing basketball and doing his acting thing. So I like the fact that they took time out to make sure that their son is okay. And he's, you know, going after his dreams and going after things that he likes. So I like this. I want to see what they do with the daughter when she gets to that age too. So I'm liking how this episode you know, I'm liking how this episode panned out. No. Even though you got some good loving from your woman, you still had to go in there and make this phone call. You still had to go in here and make this phone call. And I just don't understand why. Why would you go in here and make this phone call? Well, I won't say make the phone call. Text this woman, talk about, I changed my mind. I need to know if it's mine. Lewis, why? Why do you need to know? She already told you, look, I ain't even going to be a bother to this. You don't even have to know. This is my baby. I want it. Da, 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 da. But I guess he feel like, look, if I got a seed in the world, I need to know if it's mine. I, I just want to see how this pans out with everything. So, you know, after all of that happens, the next day, Jax gets this phone call. She gets this phone call with Adrian, and he wants to meet her at Chanel and JT's house. And he needs to talk to her. And she's like, well, I need to talk to you. So he's telling her, like, you know what? I'm going to explain some things to you. You're right. We do need to talk. I'm so glad that Dan the man was here for this conversation to tell her, you sure you don't want me to go with you? Because Jax actually was going to go there by herself thinking she could trust this dude. You see what happened last year to the crazy man you was bonding. Why would you want to go to this by yourself? I'm so glad that she was like, you know what? Yeah, you need to come with me. And not only do you need to come with me, if I don't come out in six minutes, you need to either call the cops or come inside. I hope he called the cops already. I hope they on deck and then they just go inside. My thing is this. I want, I'm willing to um say at this point, I hope he comes in. I hope he, I hope the cops come in at the right time because he was standing up when that ended with the pow pow behind his back. Is he going to take out Jax? Was he, is that hammer for Jax? Is he going to get arrested? 
Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I think this is, I think he's going to get arrested right now. And I think this is going to turn the whole case around. And I think with this whole thing, you know what I think, y'all? Chanel is going to stop protecting dude and he's going to get locked up. I think him and uh, Gerard, um, Evan Gerard is going to get locked up for this. But he's going to get locked up for the end. Or do y'all think? Do y'all think he actually did it, or do you think that Sally did it? Let me know what y'all think in the comments, y'all. So, um, look, I gotta give y'all. You know what I gotta give y'all right now? I gotta give y'all. I have to give y'all y'all last Corby Cash moment. <laughs> All right, so please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And please hit like, share, and subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe to all my socials. Make sure y'all go to that community tabs and cast y'all votes. And y'all see all my socials there. I'm subscribed. I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Rumble. And Insta. hit the like button. And I'm out. Me up in that algorithm and holla at your girl. Ew.